Hello Internet. Today I want to show you an example where you can build your own web application of the different models that Hugging Face provides to you. And today we have a version where we will download a specific uh, GPD uh, model, for example, here, our model and our tokenizers, because we want to have more output. And as I will show you in a second what we do, now this is a little bit more complicated like the last video, but here's the code in our Colab notebook. The first thing we have to install Gradio and we install our transformer here on a pure CPU version, of course, with PyTorch. While we run through the installation, you will see here, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, here RAM, we have about 12.7 gigabyte of RAM available and have a look at our RAM counter here at the top right corner of the screen. So for the transformer, we are already done. And then we just say, okay, if, again, if you want to learn about Gradio, I recommend getting started documentation as always. And then from the transformers, we have our auto tokenizers and our GPT Neo for Corsial, LMs, you import Torch. Let's do this for a second. And then again, we have examples. You know this from the last video. These are the default beginning of the sentences that we want to have our AI NLP text generator acting upon. So as you can see now, I'm downloading here GPT Neo 1.3 billion free parameter model. So the smallest model I'm aware of GPT Neo. And you might ask, hey, why you don't go for 2.7B or the 6B model? Well, have a look about the RAM that I will need to run this. Remember, this is my free Colab notebook. This is not the Colab Plus or anything. I just have 12.7 gigabyte of RAM available to me. And as you see, we are downloading here now close to 5 gigabyte of the GPT Neo 1.3B model. This will take another minute or so. And then what we do again, we import Gradio. And as I told you, we have always the same if we use Gradio. Now with the interface functionality, we have at first a function. This is our defined function. I define the function here. We'll come back to this in a second. Uh, then we have our input and we have our output. And those three elements are always the same. So the function we're gonna talk about, the input is a simple text box. And there is maybe some, even some default values. This is a good idea. Maybe you want to change this. And we say the third plan, our solar system is named. Just copy this and we make this a default value in our text box, come on. While we are waiting, back. then we have the title, we have a description, we have an article where I have to link to this model that I use, and you have an option for the layout vertical, or you can have a horizontal layout. So we are here close to finishing the download, 86%, come on. And as you can see here with the input, I went here for a default one. Let's try this one here. Come on. And while we wait, the function I defined. It is very easy. I say, okay, my input ideas, I have my tokenizer. I'm working here on PyTorch, of course. And then as you know from your typical transformer Python code, you have your model, your generate command, you have your input ideas, you have now, this is why I do it, a minimum length and a maximum length. I want to have a minimum output length and a maximum output length that I can take care of. I don't just want half a sentence as a response, but I want two or three sentences as an output of the model. And then I can go and I say, hey, I want to give it two tries, so give me two examples of a calculated answer from your model. 
And this is it, more or less. And as you can see, we have now uh, about 6.4 gigabytes, so half of our RAM is now in operation. And then we just start here, we launch our Gradio interface. This is it, and have a look at... This is it. Beautiful. This, this was so beautiful. Last time it crashed, okay presentation beautiful 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 we have now in colab inline our ai text generator but hey we say let's have a look at this in a more closer window right next to our code so here as can compare this we have our title we have our comments the sort planet in our solar system is named submit and now we are running now this on the Google Colab notebook. And as you can see, it takes, of course, longer because I have just a plain old Colab, no particular pro version or anything of this. So depending on the complexity of your sentence, we will have to wait quite some time, 25 seconds already. And as you can see, I told you, we have here the Gradio documentation. You can have a link here in your app. If you click at this, you get here the direct link to Gradio. And the other thing I have a link integrated is the GPT Neo model. This is, of course, the transformer homepage from the from Hugging Face. But let's go back. Let's have a look. And uh, yes, a great. I finished this. My goodness. Sync. This would be highly appreciated. Well, yes, yes, yes. And as you can see here, either you use here the application here directly in Colab, or if you want to send it out for somebody, no problem at all. They say that for free permanent hosting, you can, of course, check out Spaces from Hugging Face where you can post your radio generated hugging face space model if you want for free currently march 2022 and finally after 159 seconds we get a result so let's have a look at ai storytelling by our nlp model from hugging face the third planet in our solar system is named, which is Latin for the third, the Saturn of mythology. Mm -hmm. Well, factually, I would say this is not the right answer, but it is a nice answer. It is not true, but we put in some information about whatever they think might be a nice planet. Now, let's have a look at the second answer provided by the same model by just tweaking some parameters. He is named and is probably one of the largest object in the solar system. No, definitely not. Jupiter and Saturn are much bigger than Earth. It is an outer red giant and has in 557 kilometers is the radius of the object. No, it has a... Wow. So the radius is 557K and it has a diameter of more than 8,400 kilometer. But this is interesting, yeah? This is interesting, yeah? Yeah. So as you can see, if you have a very clear question to the system, I would not recommend it as a fact-checking system because, again, the quality of the output depends so much on the quality of your input data and of course on your system so maybe the next time or in the next video i will show you how to fine tune the system how to optimize the system what can we do with this system that it performs a much better way i say thank you for this part of the video and i see you in the next one